Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 27 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In this video we can learn how to show cart item number in navigation bar with Bootstrap badges. Log into the system as a user. We need to place the badge in navigation bar. The user home page is not using master page, so we need to add this functionality in both user home page and user master page. Before that in user home page if the user is not logged in, we don't want the redirection, unless we can hide the logout button. Now when we sign out and go to the user home page, it will not redirect. Do this in user master page. Also we need to show sign in button if there is no session, and set the visibility. On click event redirect it to sign in page. Do this for master page also. Now link products page in navigation bar. Now all our pages are logically connected for both registered and non-registered users. Now let's create our function to bind cart item numbers. We need add this functionality to user master default page and user home page. We don't need to check for user session, because we are fetching data from cookies. Go to badges section in bootstrap documentation. Copy the button code. Create a new list item in navigation list. Paste the code. Now we need to change the button class to navbar button. If we click the cart button we need to redirect to our upcoming cart.aspx page. Instead of using the aspx button and creating click event in code file, we can use jQuery to do this more efficiently. So add ID to the cart button. Now add jQuery reference links. Go to code.jQuery.com. Click Minified, because it will load faster, then copy the script tag. Paste the code before boots wrap tag. Then at the end of head tag create a script tag. Create a document ready function, it will only run once the page document object model, DOM, is ready for JavaScript code to execute. Now we need to create the click event for cart button with button ID. In click event redirect page to cart page that we are going to create in the next tutorial.
Yes our jQuery click is worked. Now create a function to show the number of cart items. First we need to fetch the cart items from cookies. We already did this in product view page. So paste the code. Before that clear all the cookies that we are added previously. Then add some items to the cookies by clicking add to cart. Now we get our product ID and size in cookies. To get the count we need to split the string with comma. Here we need to bind the count inside our badges tag. Add ID and run at server to badge tag. Set count as inner text of badge tag. Refresh the page, now you can see the cart count is showing. Also if the cart is empty we need to show 0 as badge value. Now add this function for all other pages. Add some margin right to button. Another problem is if we click add to cart button the count is not updating. So redirect to the same page will solve this issue. Finally do jQuery click functions in other pages. Also add session checking in default page and show and hide buttons. Now everything works fine. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.